yes so good morning how are you doing yes good morning ma'am i'm doing well thanks for asking how about you i'm also doing absolutely fine and you always call me ma'am do not call me ma'am <laughs> why you call me ma'am so what should i call you, you by your name me. yeah you can call me rajni yes okay, okay. I, sh- i i will call you owner of try to thrive <laughs> that's perfect <laughs> yes okay how was your morning what did you do yeah like nothing special it's like any other day i woke up i had a class class in the morning then i took shower and i was mm-hmm. doing my worship before talking to you okay lovely that you are very particular and punctual about the worship and chanting and on the weekends you go to temple to right to temple mm. yes yes great yeah so morning looks like this so that's why i do not schedule a lot of am i audible yes, visible now yes i can now? hear you now okay okay yes yeah. yes exactly mm mm-hmm. mm i guess i'm facing some network issues that is why it is happening no worries uh so you were talking about your day okay so you book sessions in the evenings or in the afternoon yes i conduct sessions in the evening for my students mm-hmm. okay as a trainer and when mm-hmm. it comes to sessions for the youtube usually i do in the afternoons okay. mornings are busy with all those things like i wake up generally at 7 and after that i have a class mm-hmm. related to bhagavad gita mm-hmm. or say it takes almost 2 hours for me so then i go for my lunch after mm-hmm. completing my lunch i try to work on all those things like youtube or t- in sessions but i am trying to wake up little early nowadays but i am not able to do so i don't know i'm not very happy with myself because i want to wake up early so i can finish all those activities till 8 or 9 so mm-hmm. i can do something in this period of time as well okay so when do you wake up these days 7 actually generally 7 okay okay i was also facing this issue early on okay sleep at 11 11:30 sometimes too mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. mm but touch wood oh, luckily again you got it stuck yeah it's bad today i don't know why uh earlier i had the issue again like i used to wake up at 8 am in the morning but luckily these days mm-hmm. i'm waking early like around 4:30 or 5 so i'm quite content now. yeah i want to execute the same uh, schedule in my life but very difficult i'm not able to i want to do it and i'm mm-hmm. but the thing is that when you're desperate about something you do it but i cannot say that i'm desperate at this moment so that's why i'm taking it easy right mm-hmm. for someone when it becomes compulsion and if there is some motivation that that is pushing you up to wake up very early in the morning then you can do it otherwise it it's like oh okay i can do all those things in the day so why should i wake up at 4 or 4:30 right mm-hmm. and second thing if you want to wake up early in the morning most important thing is that you should go to bed early yeah but that i don't i'm not able to do it uh, if i would go at uh, go to bed at 10 10:30 i'm sure that i would be able to wake up at least in 5 or 5:30 but mm-hmm. sometimes it's 11 11:30 and 12 also because i watch content and i take sessions in the evening as i say so that's how it happens but i'm trying to change this mm-hmm. i don't know how long will it take i i to totally get it and indeed we need to go early uh to bed if we want to wake up early mm, yeah and i do believe in it and i do go early so that is why i'm able to wake up early actually i am the a uh, person who does loves to do things in the morning itself i am not that night owl i cannot do things in the night and that is why i don't book sessions after i think my last session ends at 9 pm yeah so after that i don't don't take any other session uh, sometimes like if i have to conduct a group session like uh, on telegram or mm-hmm. somewhere only then i uh, book at 9 because many people are working professional so they get time in the night only so that is why i have to wake up for yeah time. that's why i have to conduct session in the evening because mostly mm-hmm. i train people who are who are working professionals mm-hmm. so they do not get time in the afternoon or very early in the morning because they have to rush to office uh, yeah. but in case of you you get some students in the afternoon as well right mm-hmm. <laughs> as you told me before so for mm-hmm. me there is no chance i get students only after 
to five or six when they come back from office. Mm, okay. And do you teach offline too? Do you have students? No, I don't teach offline oh, okay. at this moment, mm. actually. Okay, okay. It's just online. Okay. So uh, first, I want to discuss two major and common issues people face while speaking. Later, we will discuss normal mm -hmm. about or like normal day-to-day -day life things i just want to mm -hmm. have a normal conversation so first two major issues that i have come across these days while talking to people so that is why i thought to discuss with you too so the first one is uh, many people say that whenever they speak they repeat the same kind of sentences again and again and same kind of words so they want to alter this thing so if you have applied any tip any trick if you have tried anything or if you have heard from somebody like how they can improve, how they can change it and refrain from repeating the same sentences or same words. So you can share that can help others too. Exactly. It's a very nice uh, question. I would say most of the people suffer from it. Once you mm -hmm. become fluent, you are able to express your thoughts. But this problem occurs that you are not able to change your sentence or use a lot of substitutes of normal words mm -hmm. so what i do generally that you have to give instruction to your mind okay that you should not use the same set of structure that i do this i do this i do that i do that rather saying like change some sentences or maybe mm -hmm. like uh, i was training one of my friends so he was using you can you can always so i said to him just try to focus on it once you try to focus on your sentence structure which you repeat again and again that at least you would give the instruction to your mind that you can reduce it so mm -hmm. only by knowing your mistakes you would focus somewhat you would focus on reducing it so first identify that what identify. is your common thing that which your mistakes which you mm -hmm. repeat again and again and the words for that what i do generally nowadays i'm trying to watch content to replace general words with some good words like rather than saying it's good oh we can say like it's great it's fantastic it was a wonderful day so there are substitutes of a one single word which we use all the time like good bad okay so watch content and try mm -hmm. to keep in your mind that in what situation you can use those words learning those words with context is very important because even though there are synonyms but they cannot be used in the same situation okay yeah sometimes they they should be if i would say gorgeous for a male i cannot use gorgeous i have mm. to say like he's handsome so mm. that you have to keep in mind for the words also specific learn with the context where to use and how to use so all these things are there so first try to record yourself listen to yourself that what are the sentences which you repeat again and again mm. try to put in your mind that you're not going to use the same structure for just you know again and a lot of times and for the words learn some substitutes so you can replace them consciously you're not going to do it unconsciously because you are habitual of doing it the same mm. so that's why you have to keep in your mind that this time i'm going to use a new word because if you do practice session try to keep in your mind that this is practice not a final uh, just mm. you know performance so if you yeah. will execute all those things in practice for sure you will be able to do wonderful job in your final performance absolutely a wonderful tips you have shared and i also believe in that like first identify what are the things that you are repeating so which is possible only by recording yourself and assessing afterwards and yes if once you know once you are aware of the things that you are repeating again and again only then you can just get rid of it perfect okay next i want to ask you that how people can work on their intonation part because yes it also again can see uh you know contains 38 percent of this all out of 100 so we focus on that seven percent which is words 55 which is non-verbal we have talked already multiple times about it but i want to focus now on the tonality part which is 38 percent many people are very good at english i have come across who are working in it sectors are able to express their ideas able to convey their messages confidently but they are not speaking impressive english where the intonation comes takes part and the expression takes part so the specific thing i want to discuss is that how to improve intonation is there any uh, tried and tested tips and tricks that you applied already in your life 
<laughs> I I I don't really think so that I'm good at that intonation part or not. But what I will say, it is very important to focus on rise and fall of the sentences. And as you said, people from IT sector or anywhere, if you would find somebody very good, good professional in English, maybe they have PhD, but they sound more technical rather than more practical. I would say they sound like they have a lot of knowledge. But they are not able to execute that rise and fall difference in your voice. Maybe sometimes you are sounding really energetic, but the same point of time when you are telling something about your sad, there mm -hmm. should be the change on your voice because if somebody is listening to you on audio basis, they can understand that what is your mood. But if you sound flat, it would be very difficult for them to understand that are you sad? Are you happy? So that is intonation where you have to understand if you are asking question to somebody. So there should be like you know. Of course, rise in the question that they should understand this is question. But sometimes we ask question in a way that a person is maybe in front of you, he is silent because he is not able to understand this is a question or a, like a you know, statement. So mm -hmm. that you have to make sure that you are using all those things in a very good manner. Follow some good specific people you like them mm -hmm. and listen to them carefully. Okay, and sometimes shadowing can also help you. Consciously or like you know, unconsciously, you can learn those things by shadowing them. Because if you're listening to a good speaker, they are giving a wonderful speech. Maybe Martin Luther King or Donald Trump, Joe Biden. If you're listening, yesterday I was listening to Preeti Jinta. So listening to them, if you will shadow or try to listen to them carefully, that how they are expressing themselves. So it will help you to get that tone. Okay. And then you can have your own tone. I'm not saying that copy the way Palki Sarma speaks or the Preeti Jinta speaks. Try to have your own way of speaking, but in uh, just you know inculcate all those things which they are doing. Sometimes rise and fall. Sometimes they come with very humorous things with a lot of fun. So it is it is like you know uh, grab attention thing. Like you know they are grabbing the attention from the audience. Mm. So that you have to do it by putting a lot of efforts. And mm. observation to the good speakers by observing to them, then only you can learn it and do it consciously when you are alone. Do practice that. How are you? How are you? <laughs> practice like this. No, like how are you? How are you doing? <laughs> so better to add. For that, I listen to cricket commentaries as well. Cricket commentary where they are so much excited. They won the wonderful match. Like there was a match between India and South Africa. The match was thriller very important mm -hmm. so listening to the that commentators will help you also because they put a lot of energy emotions because both teams are in a situation where they can win so by listening to all the situations you can understand where to put energy where to sound flat and where to like you know speak yeah. down as well absolutely i certainly agree with you and yes observation is really a great thing to do if you want to speak english impressively and if you want to captivate your audience second i have observed in myself is la, yeah next point you mentioned that shadowing which also helps a lot yeah uh, i have been doing it and it helps me sometimes i quit in between i take a gap then i feel okay i'm lacking again and then i start it again so yeah i can say that it it helps mm, apart from that reading also helps a lot like some people have the habit of speaking a little faster some people speak mm -hmm. really slow in a slow pace. So in order to work on the pace and tone, you can just start reading some story books where you will get automatically the words which should be pronounced in a high pitch or in low pitch, right? So you can just do the reading practice uh, for the pace and for the intonation. Like you get a chance to pronounce different words because while speaking, you will pronounce only the words you know or you are capable enough to use at the right moment, right? But in uh, while reading, you will get the words which you are not even aware of. So you will search the pronunciation. You will practice that pronunciation. So you will be able to incorporate the new pronunciation and intonation while speaking. So reading is again one more thing which people can add in their practice. Yeah. Okay. These were the two major concerns I was thinking of discussing with you. Uh, now I just want to know how your family feels about your youtube channel oh yes actually when it comes to my family uh, very difficult for them to believe that it is going to be something which is going to pay a lot right first thing but they are okay with it my i made my parents understand because they 
is something if you have identity on youtube channel or social media so you can get many things the first thing is sponsorship maybe second thing you can get online students and your mm. identity is there so it is going to help you offline as well because when mm. you go to offline center if you show if you just you know ask them to watch your videos they will feel really good because they would be able to see your work in yeah. hundred of the videos without uh, because you they cannot understand you well in 10 minutes or 5 minutes but if they will watch your 300 videos they will be able to understand your talent because you are mm. able to express you are able to talk so my family members are okay with it but i am in a situation right now i have mm. completed my masters degree in english literature so my parents wants me to do something uh, maybe go for i was a commerce student so maybe they are thinking to go for masters in business administration or go further maybe uh, ugc nat or everything so they believe that u2 is something which is not going to be enough uh, like you know for me that's what it is but apart from this they are happy and satisfied i made them understand that uh, i come from a family where there is always value for this job and mm. job or government job specifically they mm. want you to be a government employee so that but i made my parents understand that i'm happy and satisfied with it so let me continue mm. so that's how it is i can yeah. i can totally uh, but very it, difficult it. for them to describe that what is my profession sometimes my sister asked or my mother asked like if somebody is going to ask like what i will say about you that <laughs> what you do like what you are what is call your profession a so very difficult you can just ask yeah. them just to call me a trainer i train people now and i am a trainer so yeah this is again a big thing yeah it's a big thing but now people are understand able to understand who are educated but when mm. it comes to the village community they would say where he trains in which coaching center maybe in which city Mm -hmm. so because i'm training online so it means like i'm training people are online so no offline center and everything so that's how it is but online people who are educated they are able to understand mm -hmm. the value of all those things now right because it's a Absolutely. profession now it's a complete profession where you have to put a lot of efforts and mm -hmm. time then only you can see the results otherwise you cannot expect a lot mm -hmm. absolutely uh, in my family also like like my own family understands everything now including my parents my siblings so they don't ask anything and they know like i want to thrive only in this field i want to be a personality development trainer in future so i am just working towards it but some relatives sometimes ask me are you preparing for something i assertively say no i have quit already and i am not going to prepare any more so don't ask me this question again <laughs> like okay so and even they a very few family members others are uh, aware of my youtube channel they just know like i teach online that's yeah so yeah i can totally understand how it feels when people are asking exactly these you can make your own again. family understand but extended mm. family your relatives mm. they are not sure about it that what is he doing or they are always and second thing they are always curious about the money part mm. that how much do you get do you get yeah. enough out of it or mm. why you are just uh, following something from where you cannot get enough money or mm. something that how much you will be able to get it if you will go for a, maybe the good job after mba you will get a package of 24 lakhs maybe 30 lakhs and if you will go for this uh, assistant professor that that post matters a lot along with that you will get a good money so mm. from youtube they think it somewhat i would say uh, i can say they cannot say sure that it is going to work well for you mm. absolutely yeah okay uh do your friends know about your youtube and the things you do like your school friends and college yes. friends okay now everybody knows in navodaya actually as i am oh. from navodaya so <laughs> i know that exactly so uh, okay so but mm. when i started my journey i did not tell anyone because mm -hmm. i was afraid for sure they would make fun of me because we are hostlers in navodaya so my god they used mm. to say like angrej ka bachcha why are you trying to be an english man and everything so i did yeah. not tell them in the beginning but few of my friends scolded me that ashutosh why did you hide you should have mm. told me this before i would support you but mm. i said okay it's okay i don't, don't need do not need support in the beginning so mm. but now they are aware of it and most of my classmates and juniors and seniors they know that i run a youtube channel based on spoken english sometimes i get text from them call from them for the mm. suggestions they want to get advice so in nabodia of course now most of the students wow. know so on the youtube channel 
um, how they react do they mock or do they appreciate do they ask how did you do how did you learn i'm not in touch with a lot of people to be honest and even mm. though i'm not in a group common group of all navodians because mm. i'm a separate in that sense and i i thought i am just you know my thinking process is little different i feel like till school it's okay to have a lot of friends after college you should reduce uh, your friend circle you should focus mm-hmm. on your more on your family and career and your own uh, actually finding your own self that what mm-hmm. you like more so mm-hmm. like you know being in a school also i avoid uh, i used to avoid being a group of friends always i would go with one or two friends and i would discuss my own things so now i'm not in touch with them but whenever the people who call me they are okay and they appreciate me appreciate. a lot that you are doing something good and second thing they know that uh, i have a stability that mm-hmm. of course if i have this skill i can have my own coaching center yeah. i can do a lot of wonders maybe i can train in an institute or i can go for any uh, university to train in mm-hmm. spoken english and everything so they are happy about it that uh, because most of my friends they are preparing at this moment and they mm. are not sure that they will get a government job or not right mm. so they are stressed and they get a lot of problems but at least i sleep at the night without getting a lot of stress that mm. i have something so i am able to pay my own expenses so they are happy about it and they support me and they want to get help from me if they are heading towards the field like you know mm-hmm. masters of business administration if they are going in the corporate they need communication so they want to get some help from me and i'm ready to do so great great and proud to be a uh, navodian i know navodians always support each other which is great always about navodia <laughs> right i can understand totally okay uh yeah so what's your future plans <laughs> that's a difficult question <laughs> what is mm-hmm. future plan uh, no uh, that's what i am telling you that always i am confused when you are even though you are sure that what you want to do but mm-hmm. sometimes when your extended family or relatives ask you that you it is your right age to do something prepare for something right because you are mm-hmm. not old enough that you can choose one thing only profession they, they will say like you can be a trainer any time after 35 40 because the skill yeah. should be there they think like you are at the age it's right time for you to do preparation for any government job mm. so what is my future plan is that i want to grow my youtube channel and i want to train people as much as i can this is my plan but somewhat my relatives and family members wants me to be in a job actually so do somewhere maybe they want me to be a teacher it would be good if i would become a pgt teacher or or maybe assistant professor mm-hmm. or maybe i can go for this commerce field as well so that's what they want but till now, sometimes even though i feel confused because if there are a mm-hmm. lot of thoughts and people surrounding you they are saying that this this is the time you can do something else as well because mm-hmm. the skill would be there but i i feel this is not my native language this is non native language if i'm going to leave practicing for sure after few years i would not feel like doing it i would not have enough confidence to train people right mm. so but my plan is to grow my youtube channel have a strong social media profile reach out to many people help them and train people as much as i can and in future i can have my own institute related to personality development and public speaking where i can help people to do that okay. we both are aspiring for the same thing i guess <laughs> okay um, have you read ikigai yes i did mm, so you could have find your passion you could have found your passion till now ikigai helps us a lot to, in order to get you know the exact idea what should I, what should we follow and the right path for us as per our interest and a lot of questions so it is easy to do that i, I don't remember exactly but there yes, is a chart yes i found my of. own passion i like mm-hmm. mm. exactly so i found i I can do this uh, after 60 and 70 because there is no in a guy they t- they told that no retirement mm. because if you like doing something you would be ready to yeah. do at 90 or 95 whatever your age is okay but sometimes outside noise becomes too loud that you are not able to hear your own sound and your own voice right so that's what the question is but i am quite firm and sure about it that i have to go forward in this field and that is a lot of scope and this is a great field helping mm. people with their problems i have seen most of the people in this field they have low confidence mm. low self esteem a lot of problems in their family that's why they are 
are not able to do it so it's like more like a therapeutic session not yeah. only teaching and training them english it's more like boosting their confidence and mm. giving them confidence to do something whatever they want in their life yeah. it's not only a language journey so they are going to be good at english no they are mm. going to be a good as a human being good as a homemaker maybe they good as a software engineer whatever they are doing they will be fit to that role so i want to do it for forever but let's perfect. see what what future holds for me yeah yeah perfect perfect great uh when you were sharing about the thing that uh, yeah my friends know about youtube later like first you didn't share anything about your youtube and the things you do later they got to know and they appreciate honestly my friends from navodaya till till today they don't know like only two people from navodaya know about my youtube channel and the things i do and one of my friends like she is my best friend like a sister to me and when i went to josh talk and when my video got published on josh talk a youtube channel she was super excited to share the video in the group and tell everybody like she is there and all and i asked her just hold your horses do not tell anyone <laughs> and it's like they are genre they are filled their things are different now mine are different so only my friend should know like only two or three are there who are very close to me and i love sharing things with them so other than that i don't uh, share things with others now because they have their own life now so i don't want to just yeah, exactly uh, it's it's our profession uh, so hmm. uh, and they are going on their profession yeah. so yeah. no everybody is not going to take interest hmm. in your videos for sure and hmm. some people are jealous of you as well so they yeah. are not going to be interested at all so yeah. of course even though i share with few of my friends who are able to understand so otherwise there is no meaning to tell everybody but only people come to me who want to be good in spoken english they want some help otherwise mm -hmm. there there is no meaning to discuss with everybody no meaning right hmm. she was excited more than i because of this josh talk video you like it's it's beyond expectation yeah just talk is a big <laughs> yeah. name of course yeah. <laughs> exactly so everybody wants to be there she so. was she was excited to share the photos the videos but i just asked that so later she was like she understood my point of view too everybody has their own life now so that is why and i also like you don't want any kind of you know distraction and disturbance in my life now i am fully satisfied and i do my thing so i don't want that much phone calls and all yeah so that is why i didn't share exactly. yeah, i didn't even share talk, the of course critics is the part of them so mm. even though some of my friends they said like what is he doing he was a good and bright student of former he should uh, should have gone for all those things but why mm. he is doing something so critics is the part of it and of course people would not say in front of you but mm. say like why he is doing this so. yeah 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 okay uh that is what i just wanted to discuss with you if you have any question for me you may ask now yeah so now it is how your day looks like mm say like you improved great. your daily routine now great question uh now it is these are similar but i feel more excited i don't know why and i feel too content like these days my youtube is not growing that much faster but still i am enjoying the journey i don't care anymore i i like i should just focus on myself work on myself and just help others so and the best part is when you start waking up early in the morning nothing matters to you nothing that is what i feel about myself when i don't put my efforts into the practice 100% and if i don't wake up early then i feel terrible about myself that okay what are you doing rajni why are you wasting your time why are you just sleeping this much long hours and all the things but yeah nowadays i'm able to wake up early in the morning do the yoga drink a lot of water study read books uh, have sessions teach people i'm able to handle everything like effortlessly so i'm content and this is what i do throughout the day as i am with my family so i don't have any other responsibility apart from my own so days are going great and this is the routine like i wake up around 4:30 and then doing yoga having a breakfast and later start my day in the afternoon also i take short naps and in the evening i take a few sessions later i just do my stuff like i do study
Okay, that's great. So, do you conduct uh, online sessions for students too? Yeah. Offline and online both? Not like offline. Online only, or online? Only online. Oh, it's only online. So, you prefer conducting sessions in the evening or afternoon or morning? In the morning, like before the session, uh, I started taking sessions at eight thirty. Like I took three sessions in the morning. It's now the mm. last one. I'll just study for some time. I'll just prepare intro video for. Uh, and that I recorded that is future to fluency episode number five. So I'm going to record the intro video later. Then I'm going to edit the video. Then I'll take rest and later I'll, in the evening also I'll take sessions. Okay. So in the evening you take classes, especially mm. you can say, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming along, for joining me today. I enjoy talking to you thoroughly. It was just relaxing conversation and discussed a few things which can help others too. Yes, so have a great day ahead. Okay, thank you so much, Minwini. Thanks to you for giving me this yeah, yeah. wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, take care.